That borderline turned into a disaster. <laughs> Hey guys, thanks for tuning back into the channel today. Today I'm gonna bring you along with me while I'm loading up, getting ready for our next project. Today is Sunday, so it's Sunday afternoon. Got a couple things to load up here. I know some of y'all might be wondering, why do you show this kind of stuff, Rick? Well, I like showing this because it allows everybody to see what all goes into creating a beautiful water garden for a customer you know I've had some customers say wow that's kind of expensive for you to be here for a couple days well we're not just in your yard for say for a couple days there's a lot of behind the scene things that you know homeowners just don't get to see so I can understand that so I'm trying to do these videos just to kind of show you what's all involved in with getting to your yard putting in your water garden and even maybe the afters because there is a lot involved getting ready, getting prepped to go to your yard and create a beautiful water feature or water garden, whichever one you guys do. So come and tag along with me. We'll check it out. So first things first, we got to get material out of there. And then once I get that, then we got to take it and put it in there, uh, right there that trailer. So that's the first task. All right, we're in the inventory room. It's somewhat organized. All right, so here's the pump we need. Skimmer, biofall. So at least all that's together already. I have Yep, we need that box there too. That's the liner. And there's plumbing. There's fill valve line. So yeah, so now we gotta get all this together and get it on the trailer. Come on guys, you really think I was gonna load all that one piece at a time? No way. I'm gonna jump on this little thing right here and help me load this in one shot. find out who's naughty or nice rick is coming to a customer's house you're nice you're naughty I haven't found you yet you're still being naughty let's see oh you're nice you're nice you're nice Oh, you're nice too.
four out. Just started. Well, that's half of it. That trailer's done. Everything we need in that one is done. So now we gotta load up all the rock, the retaining wall, and that goes on a different trailer. That trailer is, I don't know. I gotta go find it. Just kidding, not done loading the white trailer. See, this is why I make a list. It gets forgot. We still gotta get this on the trailer. That would be underlinement. This is what protects the liner from getting punctured by rocks on the top of it. It keeps the intrusion of roots away from the liner. So definitely gotta get that. That is a must. Yeah, all the way over there. It's all right, it doesn't weigh nothing. I already did the hard part. That was a liner. Eh, changed my mind again. Decided to go with a different underlinement. Same thing, but it's a lot easier to put that on the trailer than it is that wad over there. So yeah, we're gonna load this instead. All right, now, we're done with the white trailer. Just buckle it down. Getting it ready for the ride. Do you know how hard it is to look through a camera and try to put a lock in a hole? Whoa. Still with me? A little crazy right there. Check. Now, we need to get that big tub into here. And that red wheelbarrow, I ain't decided where to put it yet. Probably gonna go in the back of my truck. My truck's gonna be carrying the heavy load. It's gonna have all the rocks on that trailer that I still looking for. <laughs> I can't find it anywhere. Oh, is that it? Right there? Nah, that's too big. That's for when we go over to the East Coast and pick up a load of rock. But, lately I ain't happened to do that. I've just been ordering semi truck loads of rock in. So, if you wonder where I'm rocking right now, I'll show you the rocks that we gotta load up. I do apologize if it's a little windy. For once we have a breeze here. It makes it quite nice. All right. Now we're getting over to the rock yard. So what should we take? Oh, definitely gonna take that one. It's got some nice selection in it. Let's see. Definitely gonna take that one. Thinking, let's see. Probably we'll take this one. And let's see what we got over here. Probably, eh, maybe not. We're gonna take this pallet. That way I got some big boys to put in this water garden. Really helps break it up. So, yeah. You were think we just went back to the rock yard that you visited with us, I don't know, last week? I lose track of my weeks here. Oh, and if you didn't see that video, I will figure out how to get a link up in that corner so you can go back and watch that. But once you watch that, please come back to this video and finish watching it. So I showed you two of the rows. Well, let me get my numbers right here. Well, there was a lot of rows I showed you, but two of the stockpiles, that's the better word. I showed you of rocks, probably thinking, eh, that ain't a lot of rocks. Well, here's another stockpile. And it goes about probably I think it's six or seven pallets deep. Hey, what can I say? I like rocks. All right, still looking for that trailer. 
wonder where it's at. I think we're gonna find it. Oh, found it. Can you see it? Maybe not. Let me try another angle. Hold on. I might help zoom it in. There she is. Found it. Well, change the plans again. This is just how my days go. Just realized I need to do an oil change on my truck. So before I hook up to that trailer and load up them rocks I showed you, and I'm gonna have to do an oil change. Man, it's always something. Now, I gotta go find oil and an oil filter. Wonder where that could be at. Found it. Yep. Yeah, my truck's thirsty. It, it really likes oil. That's four gallons of oil. Gotta love diesel. Oh, yep, oil filter. Yeah, we're good. All right, heading to go do the oil change. Gotta go to a lift. It's much easier than crawling on the ground. I ain't no mechanic or nothing, but you all ready for the world's fastest oil change? Here it comes. Just like that, done. Whew. I'm sweaty now. Heading back over. We're gonna hook up to that trailer that we couldn't find for a while. Oh, another gate. Let's see if this one cooperates better. Open sesame. Yeah. That works a lot better. All right. So now we got the trailer on the truck. Now we got to get it loaded with the rock. Well, I was gonna try to do some drone footage for you guys of me loading the trailer, but uh, that borderline turned into a disaster. So I guess you'll just ride along with me on the tractor. loaded all right so we still gotta get straps on all this stuff obviously it's gotta be strapped down so we're legal to go down the road because we're you know we abide by the laws but anyways that pretty much sums it up thank you guys for watching so make sure you're tuning in for the next couple days not sure how i'm gonna do the videos yet i don't know if i'm gonna try to do a video tomorrow night as far as getting it uploaded to youtube showing the progress or if i'm gonna just take the next couple days um of us doing this project this new water garden and uh just do it in one video probably do it that way be easier for me um and uh you know maybe be easier for you guys too but hey thanks for watching it's greatly appreciated and uh don't forget to subscribe, hit that bell notification. It's right there. Wait a minute. It's right there on that side of your screen. That lets you know when we post the videos. And, oh yeah, don't forget to give this that thumbs up if you like what we're doing. All right, guys, well, like I said, keep watching. There'll be another video here soon of what we're about to build. See you later.